Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is Furnace, a mod by Kids Don't Play. In this mod, it adds in two simple blocks that are highly upgradable and allow you to better, well, smelt, process, or otherwise get items in your Minecraft modded playthrough. And today I feel I should be thanking one of our patrons, Zephira. Thank you very much for your support, it is greatly appreciated. Okay, so, as I said in the intro, this mod adds in two simple blocks, the pelvis and the furnace. Both of these are going to be very beneficial and in multiple ways. First, let's talk about how to make them. The furnace is made like such and acts like a regular Minecraft furnace, <laughs> not furnace, but uh, it will also act in similar input methods, meaning uh, if you hopper into the top, you'll be putting into the input. If you hopper into the side, you'll be uh, inputting the fuel and if you uh, hopper out from underneath, you'll be taking the output uh, into another inventory, perhaps, so, or at least into this hopper here. So the same thing with the furnace itself, too. And uh, the furnace, uh, as I said here, uh, and pulvis have similar recipes, uh, though they do a little bit different. This one here, the pulvis, will pulverize ores. And the furnace, or the, sorry, the pulvis will pulverize ores, the furnace will smelt them up. Now, the pulvis will do more than that. If you look here, as I was saying, you've got your input, you've got your output, you've got your fuel, and you've got your upgrades. On top of that, you have this little book. This tells you the current status of your pulvis or furnace, if it's uh, running faster or slower than usual, as well as how fast it uses up fuel consumption, and if it gives you any kind of bonus for uh, XP. Now, what people don't normally know is that there's a secret button in the middle, right here. It says Show Recipes. You click on this. And it'll actually tell you a little bit. Now, if you want, you should be able to just click on the uh, arrows, but there are multiple arrows along this center spot. So basically, this entire central area will show you the different recipes. This can process your different, uh, like, cobblestone into gravel, gravel into sand, and so on, as well as your different ores into different processes results. You can get uh, string from wool. The most common, I mean, yes, you can also get better, uh, like, dyes and such. Most common, it's going to be used for like gold or iron or copper or whatnot. Get all sorts of different pulverized results depending upon the mods you have installed. Now, the furnace is going to be just like a regular furnace. You put our ores in, it smelts them, and that's pretty much it. And you've got all these slots on the side are upgrades. There's a ton of upgrades for these. Yes, there are. Uh, it's, it's really, really good. Let's start over here on this side where the furnace is. I, I realize that the the upgrades will work for most items, or for most of these, either the pelvis or the furnace. Uh, they're, they're not mutually exclusive to one or the other per se. So let's start with this one here. This is the Eco Upgrade. Recipe for this is rather simple, though it does require some blaze rods, so you will have had to have most likely gone to the nether or have some way of obtaining them, depending upon the pack. Now you put those in, or you put one of those in and it saves the heat in progress, it says. Currently, I have a box of coal. I take this out. You can see it currently is stuck at 504 seconds. I smelted up eight iron ingots. I can keep smelting. It'll keep burning. You can see that it is currently counting down. Now, that's basically what the eco upgrade does is it will hold true your heat and therefore no wasted fuel will happen. That's how useful that is. And you just need to put one of them in the upgrade slots. Now, let's talk about this one here your efficiency upgrade. This is probably the most valuable one that I could come up with, and that is making your fuel last even longer. Now, if I put some iron in here, you'll see that it's it's burning through the sticks as you normally would with a furnace. It's going to use up at least one stick. All right, most of one. There you go. Now, if I refill that, and then we take the efficiency upgrade out, put this in here, and we're smelting up another one, it's using up several sticks. So you can see that each one, and they can stack up to eight, can be used to very, very much so benefit uh, your, your fuel stretched in this case. Now those are made with a little bit of nether quartz, gold, glowstone, and so on. And of course, you don't have to have eight in all at a time. You can put uh, you know all of them in, but you can't put multiples in. Like I'm trying to place it here in the second slot, it doesn't work. So you have to, that that is the maximum. Now each one of these values for how many you can put into these and how they work and everything is configurable. Check out the configs if you're not familiar with it already. And here we have the XP upgrade with this one. XP upgrade. This is a reason why you probably wouldn't want to automate your furnace or pelvis. 
in that you can get some XP out of this. Now you notice at the bottom, my XP is nothing right now. And this is with eight XP upgrades. This is with no upgrades. And I melted an entire stack of iron ingots. And this one is an entire stack of iron ingots as well. Nothing else has changed in this. You know, they've all got the same consumption rate and everything. So by taking out a stack of iron ingots, I got four and uh, a bit levels, basically up to the bottom of my uh, eighth heart down at the bottom here. So if I were to uh, temporarily store my gear in this chest here so that I don't lose all my stuff and then use the kill command to kill myself, you can see that I now have no levels left. Uh, therefore, I, I just kind of like negated having any of those levels. So if I grab, instead of this one, because I, I just grabbed that 64 stack, I grab out of here, I get considerably more. Now this is, of course, maxed out at 8. You can change uh, how much XP this gives as well. So you can get a lot more levels from this if you so desired. But therefore, you can see I'm now uh, well above 5.5 levels just from getting this, and it, it's pretty darn good. The XP upgrade is going to consist of glowstone slime and uh, an iron ingot, some kind of slime at least. Now, let's move on to something else. We're going to go over here to the pelvis. And as I said before, if you wanted to, you just click on here and you can see the different recipes. There's 68 pages for me to scroll through, but I've got tons of other mods installed. So you can see that you can actually get some things back, like uh, I think... Yeah, you can get like chain chest plate, you can get an iron nugget, whatever. But you get the idea that it has lots of different options. Now let's talk about this. We've got speed upgrades. This is really where it's going to be at here. Let's put in, uh, we want eight for this in this case. We're going to put this in. You're going to see that this goes super fast. We've got eight at a time that you can put in at most. But you can see how fast that goes through the fuel take that back out and you can see just how slow this goes but then it also makes the fuel last much longer so at the cost of fuel which you can see here speed five times fuel consumption 4.2 you can get yourself your job done very quick now as you also notice it did double your ores as one might expect it doesn't give any secondary byproducts or anything but it will give you at least some pulverized version i put eight in there it gave you 16 thus the benefit of the pulvis, and then you can smelt the pulverized iron, which I just got some XP from that, in one of these, and you can start uh, getting, you know, your doubled ores and so on. All right, and just so that you know, the speed upgrade is going to consist of a little bit of redstone, gold, and iron. Not too bad at all. And here we're going to be covering the energy upgrade. The energy upgrade requires a bit of Redstone, iron, glowstone, gold, nothing really fancy there, uh, but it only will accept one at a time. Now, I did put some efficiency in here just so that you can see it last a little bit longer, but as this is a pulvis, let's put this in. You can see that it is going to make the sticks last that much longer because of the efficiency, but if I were to take those out, you can see uh, once that finishes burning that up here, we'll put in a couple more pieces, it continues to burn, and there's no fuel. Because I currently have behind it a, a, a survivalist generator from Extra Utilities 2 just adding in power. Now you can do this as well so that it will use both at the same time. It will kind of use the fuel from the one and not the other. But uh, it, it is going to just kind of like, I don't know, it, it will try to use the power first, but may falter if you don't have enough power coming into it. It doesn't really give you too much on that, but it does tell you the energy storage in here. It will store up to 80,000 of the power that in, in question at this point, which did take a while for that to actually store that up. But then you can just run off of that instead of having to use some kind of solid fuel. Uh, now, yes, you can also put like buckets of lava and whatnot in these. They will accept that as well. And here we have one of the best ones. This is your slot upgrade. The recipe for that's a couple diamonds and an iron ingot will get you one. And you can have up to two of these in here, adding for each slot upgrade you have one extra slot. So if I were to put in some iron ore, you see that it will start smelting. This is where split items evenly option comes into play. You press this and it will start spreading them out evenly. And this includes if you're inputting stuff as well. If you don't want that and you want a multiple multitude of different ores to be smelted at once, it will then start filtering in different types into the other slots instead of filtering them evenly. So if you just have one ore that you need a lot of quickly, you can then do this, 
You can even uncheck it and just, you know, it, it works real quick for that one. And you can process it as such. And it will tell you that everything is currently just the same. Now it will start using some of this uh, fuel as well because you're, you're kind of tripling the, the product, but you're getting it done that much quicker. And here we have the last and probably the best one, and that is the I.O. upgrade. The I.O. upgrade, you get two of these from a piston, iron ingot, and a hopper. This will allow you, and the reason you get two of these, because you're only going to need one for one pulvis and one for one furnace. You put that in there, and it will give you the options to uh, basically adjust your inputs, your outputs, and where the fuel comes in. So, in this case, the input is on the left. If you notice, all the red is disabled, the green is enabled. Well, hey, look at this. I've got iron ore and sticks. Nothing's coming in. That's because it needs to be automatically enabled. What that just all it does by enabling it like this in green instead of the teal is it will then start uh, allowing you to pipe in that way, uh, like with a hopper or something like that. So you just keep clicking through and it will disable said items and so on. So there you go. We've got the pulverized iron just got processed. Still have some sticks in here, right? So let's check out the output. We can have that go out in a minute, but for now, let's bring in some more fuel. We've got sticks, and we've got coal. Let's automatically increase that. And that starts being taken from the chest as well. So it's really simple, really straightforward, and pretty easy to work with. Now we've got nothing in the output chest. So let's have that enabled as well. Everything starts going out into the output chest. The furnace itself will need to start having an input. And as before, because it's got the slot upgrades, you can split the items evenly, and it will start producing these things depending upon the fuel that you have. Now, I don't have any fuel in there. I could have fuel over here if I want. I have fuel input over there. And it's going to output over there as well. So as these things finish, they're automatically going over here. Now, just to demonstrate the entire thing, let's put in some cobblestone. There we go. That will break into gravel, which isn't going to be processed over here. So then what if we were to change the output. Let's make the output over here instead. And then it will automatically come back in because this also will process gravel into sand. So therefore you've got cobblestone going in, coming back in again into sand. So you're constantly seeing these come out. You can turn cobblestone into sand or gravel very easily, very simply, uh, just as an example, of course. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit by bit on Furnace mod by Kids Don't Play. It's a really, really cool mod. I highly suggest that you check it out for a rather immersive way, uh, a little bit more vanilla-esque, of uh, just playing around with some uh, grinding techniques for getting doubling your ores and uh, smelting up your ores and items, as well as getting all sorts of uh, really good, eh, I don't know, results that you might otherwise not have. So, don't be afraid to give a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys on Twitch, 10 p.m. most nights, UK time.